Oh shit, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> that was a bottle. Oh, how are you? Hey. Come on! Mate, why are you having to go at me? Why are you, you afraid of getting pictures of us? This, I'm a journalist. That's all. It's not a Muslim, it's a journalist. I was going to text some pictures of the priest's blue talent. That's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. Don't and you guys keep attacking then. me. Like, mate, you just attack, I can't shake your hand, you just went down and picked me up. I can't have carry on if you don't share my hand. Okay, alright. That's the best lot I've heard all day. For me, this march was no different from any EDL march I'd witnessed before. The ranks were swelled with drunken boneheads, neo Nazis, hooligans. It was truly disappointing. This could have been an opportunity for the moderates to unite, for Muslims, Christians, Jews, atheists, the diverse British population to come out in their masses and condemn Islamic extremism. Instead, we're left with hooligans who attack people because of the way they look. When they thought I was a Muslim, they attacked me. The saddest thing for me actually from the protest wasn't the violence. The saddest thing for me was something I did. I screamed when I was under attack, I'm Jewish, I'm Jewish, I'm not Muslim, why are you attacking me? What if I was a Muslim? You can't tell a moderate Muslim from an extremist Muslim because they have a beard or a hat. I was targeted because they thought I was a Muslim. I was also targeted, I believe, because some of them thought I was a Jew. In the name of honesty, there were a number of people I spoke to in Tommy's March who were normal people, who were fed up with Islamic extremism. They weren't hooligans. They weren't violent, but sadly, the majority of that protest were hooligans. They were Islamophobes. Britain needs to unite. The moderates need to come out. We can't leave the mass protests against radical forms of Islam to the football hooligans and racists. <laughs>